Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. I don't really have any updates for this week. I did just place my huge Shop Miss A haul order that I've been waiting like weeks to finally place. Uh, they are based out of Texas, so I totally understand the fact that like no one's able to get to the warehouse right now and they're still recovering. I hope everyone in Texas is doing well. I have friends, I have family, I have co-workers in Texas that are still reeling from the horrific weather that they've had in the past week. So I completely understand, but eventually in a few weeks, whenever I do get that order, I will be doing a full haul and it's a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. So I'll be doing a full haul and then I'm gonna do a follow-up video reviewing everything that's new to me because I would say it's like 30% repurchases for me and then 70% new. I'm really excited for that 70%. Let's see, for the face, I'm wearing the new makeup, sun makeup, <laughs> milk makeup, uh, sunshine skin tint as foundation. I only lightly powdered on top of it. I think it's so cute and it did for the most part dry down. It looks really, really cute. Um, I'm wearing a Fenty cream blush. I've got an ABH cream contour on. My eyes are my Pen That Palette, the Lila palette. For lashes, I've got the Glamnetic lashes on in, not in Lucky, in, the lashes are in Vixen and those are also sent to me in PR. Uh, let's see what else. I'm also wearing just slightly the Dior uh, lip gloss and and that's today's makeup look. I had a lot of fun. It took me a long time. I sat down. I took my time. I did my makeup. I typically on Sundays like to take my time, do a really, really glam makeup look, and then I film whatever I got to film for the week. So I think that's it. Let's go ahead and jump in. So Fenty is coming out with, I guess, a full pan highlighter of a highlight that I guess used to only be in a split pan. This is the Moscow, Moscow, excuse me, Moscow Mule. Um, and I have to say, I love the Fenty highlighter formula. If you've not been with my channel for a bit, I did pan an entire split pan highlighter from Fenty. I love the formula. It was gorgeous. And I probably will repurchase another highlight from Fenty. I think the formula is fantastic. And I did use up the whole thing. And I did think it was worth the money I paid for it because they are a little pricey. The full highlighters are around $36. This is limited edition though, and I, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's too dark for my skin tone, but I know that uh, Fenty has a great range of highlighter shades and their lightest shades. I believe the highlighter that I panned was in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Those are some great shades for light skin tones, and I'm probably looking to purchasing one of those. I don't know if they have those in a full pan because I would love one of those in a full pan. Anyway, I think this is really cool. I would love to see her come out with some more highlights or some more blushes, and I think this is a move in the right direction. Okay, I'll never get over the fact that Beauty Blender just keeps coming out with different colors of their exact same sponge. Like They don't change anything about their sponges, but the color and they just keep spitting them out and people keep spending $20 on a makeup sponge. My favorite sponge is the Dollar Black Teardrop Sponge from Shop Miss A. I've used that for years. I actually went back in my account to see when I first purchased products from Shop Miss A. It was back in 2018 and I've been using the sponges since then because those are one of the first things I picked up and they're only a dollar and they're amazing sponges and I just I can't like that part of me just feels so like sad that I used to purchase because I bought a few beauty blenders and I was like oh these are great but that was before I tried cheaper, better sponges. You don't need to spend $20 on a sponge. <laughs> so Artist Couture is coming out with their spring 2021 collection. They have the Ethereal Bloom eyeshadow palette for $30, which mm, and it looks a little small for $30. And then they're coming out with a new um, highlight shade. I have to say the shades in the, the, in the eyeshadow palette look pretty, like they look like spring. Do I need this, like do I need these shades? No, I'm sure I have somewhere in this eyeshadow palette bookshelf, I have these shades, um, but I have to say, them swatched out is pretty inspiring for spring. Though it sure as hell doesn't feel like spring considering we've gotten like three snowstorms in the past two weeks. As much as I love winter, I've kind of had it up to here of the snow. If it could just be chilly without the snow, I, I we would be great. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably not gonna buy any of this, but hmm. yeah, what do you think? So I guess following, I believe they came out with a mascara a little bit ago. Now Bite Beauty is coming out with an eyeliner. Hmm. It is $25 though. I see that's the thing. I don't like spending too much money on eyeliner because you can get decent ones either on sale or at the drugstore. So personally, I wouldn't buy this. But what do you guys think? What do you feel? How do you feel about Bite expanding from being just lipsticks to now moving into like eye makeup? <sighs> All right, it wouldn't be another BWOW without some more shit from ColourPop. So here's another Disney collab. This is the Bambi collection, which at this point, like, what, what is this? Ugh. 
the packaging isn't even that cute. Like they're just spitting out so much stuff. Uh, my good friend Christina Chang finally got her um, Animal Crossing collab, which is one of the only things recently that I wanted to buy from ColourPop. And she got the products and they were just subpar. So we've got like actual proof that their quality is going down with each one of these new releases and the prices are going up and the, the rate at which things are coming out is going up. So honestly, at this point, it's sad to see ColourPop fall. But ColourPop has fallen. Their quality is not good. They're coming out with too many things. Even if you want this collection, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get the collection because they have to wait in queue. Everything's probably going to sell out because even though they like to brag about how they own their own production and their own company and their own uh, labs and production facilities that they could make as much as they want, they said they never make enough. So I've just added up to here. I'm done. Don't want this. <laughs> Okay, so Dior came out with some powders. Now, people were a bit confused because I think at first Trend Mood got the number of shades wrong, but then also no one knew if these were supposed to be actual, like, full coverage powders or if they were supposed to just be translucent, like, finishing powders. And I think the consensus is that there's 10 shades because they're finishing powder, so they're supposed to be translucent. So 10 shades of a translucent powder. It's still a little less, but it's not terrible. However, uh, seeing it from Dior and seeing that it's expensive, those powders are $40. I think they could have done a little bit more, don't you? Benefit came out with a new product, but it's this, I don't know how this is different from what they already have. <laughs> it's their, their real magnet mascara? Magnet Extreme Lengthening Mascara? What the hell? Was developed with real magnetic technology for powerful length and lift? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, that's stupid. That's really stupid. And it's $27. No, thank you. All right, so here's another example from MAC. Another limited edition, like, collab collection that looks badass. Like, the packaging, they, they can nail the packaging of all these limited edition collections, right? But I know, like, in my, in my heart, in my soul, I know the products are shit. <laughs> I've seen the limited edition collections. I've owned limited edition collab collection pieces, tiny pieces. They're not worth the price. They're not worth the price. So these look amazing, but there's no way in hell that's going to be worth it. Huda Beauty is branching out into brows with a brow pencil, a micro shade brow pencil. And it comes in eight shades. It is $17 each. Um, I'm surprised they actually have a black shade. Oh, what's with the swatches, though? How the hell... What? How the hell am I supposed to tell colors from these swatches? You know, normally when they do pencil swatches, they have, like, squiggles so you can actually see the color. <laughs> what? <laughs> Be like, oh, yes, I'll take uh, line number four. That, that looks like my shade, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Oh, well, at least I got a really good chuckle out of that. <laughs> uh, that being said, will I buy this? No. Okay, so this is kind of something I've been curious about, but I never wanted to buy a collab. Is this a collab? It is limited edition, but I do not think it's a collab. So I've heard nothing but great things about Becca face palettes. I've never owned a Becca face palette, but I have a bunch of highlighters and I do love Becca highlighters. This is the new limited edition Sunsetter face palette. <laughs> you know how much, if you know me, you know I love face palettes. I have a whole drawer of face palettes in my collection. I just, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good face palette. This, I like the packaging. The shades look like they'll work for me. Unfortunately, they look like they look like they won't work for everyone, which I see them swatching on deeper complexions. That's not showing up. Like you should come out with more than one face palette. Come on. <sighs> But let me see, how much is this? $39, mm, that's a bit steep. I don't think I would pay $39 for this. I'd probably wait for it to go on sale. Is Becca sold at Ulta? If it is, I might use some Ulta points, you know? Get some gift cards, use my fetch rewards to get some uh, money off, but I wouldn't pay full price for this. But I have always wanted to try a Becca face palette. If you, if you own a Becca face palette or if you have owned a Becca face palette, let me know which one it is and what your experience was with it. And if, the, if you think they're worth the full price or if you get it on sale or if you don't, you, you know, regret it totally. Chunky boy, what are you eating? You shouldn't be eating anything. Are you licking the carpet? 
Okay. What are you licking? I think you are licking the carpet. Don't lick the carpet. <laughs> So Tatcha is coming out with a loose setting powder. I've tried a few Tatcha products here and there. I've liked a couple of them, but ultimately way too expensive for what it is. I have a few loose powders that are bougie and expensive that I love, like the Givenchy loose powder. Mm, guilty pleasure, I love that one. I also really like the Laura Mercier. I haven't bought a nice like higher end setting powder in a while because quite honestly, like the Cody Airspun, just as good. I just like treating myself sometimes and being a little bougie. So I was actually debating. I haven't gotten the Laura Mercier in a long time. So I might buy myself the Laura Mercier once I run out of this um, Cody powder. But mm, I kind of want to try this. I know. I know. Hear me out. I got no excuses. I don't. I don't. I'm just curious. And I like higher end setting powders. Ugh. What do you think? What, should I get this? Okay. So this people are just like running out of ideas. And... <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, so Hot Topic is coming out with a, a blockbuster eyeshadow palette. Can we just say like the Venn diagram of people that like still shop at Hot Topic and the people who were old enough to have shopped at Blockbuster, it's probably just two circles. Like, when did Blockbuster close down? Like, I remember like as a kid going to Blockbuster and then uh, because my area wasn't rich, rich enough to have an actual Blockbuster, we had like a knockoff called, what was it called? Like Hollywood movie or something like that because we didn't even have a Blockbuster in the area. But oh, like, what is this palette? This palette, this looks like if Seinfeld, you know how boring and like kind of funny but not really Seinfeld is. If it was a palette, that's what this would be. Eh, yeah, I don't know. Nostalgia can only take you so far, I guess. Oh, and I heard, what was it, a TikTok? Or it was on Twitter. Um, people were talking about vintage clothing and they were like, oh yeah, vintage clothing from the 90s. And I was like, wait a minute, the 90s counts as vintage? And I guess the technical definition of vintage is between 20 and 100 years ago of like style. So, so technically clothing from the 90s is officially vintage clothing. Ooh. That was weird. <laughs> Tower 28. I still have not tried any of their products. I'm really, really interested though, especially in these blushes. They just came out with new shades of their um, tinted lip and cheek balm and they look gorgeous. I want that like orangey toned one. It's called Rush Hour. It's sun-kissed peach. I want it. I want it. I'm wearing a very similar one from Fenty today, but I, I just love orange blushes. I think they look really good on me. They're different. I just, Rex, why do you keep orphan? <laughs> But I really like orange blush and I'm really interested in trying Tyra 28 in general, but especially their blushes. Can you hear him just like, he's doing that borf that's not a full bark yet, but he's just like, I don't know what he's going off on. What is these? Ooh, mini lipsticks. You had me at mini lipsticks. So Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a mini nude ultra matte lipsticks. Ooh, you, you lost me at ultra matte though. A uh, red ultra matte lipstick set and then a neutral browns eyeshadow stack, which I, I don't need neutral browns. I have so many neutral browns in my collection. I wanted the lipsticks until I saw ultra matte. I do not like ultra matte bullet lipsticks. They just are really uncomfortable. They're hard to reapply. They, they don't look that great like on my lips personally. So oh, as much as I love mini lipsticks, I'm going to go pass. Dr. Pepper. Alvin's got me drinking so much Dr. Pepper because I used to, what did I used to drink? Mainly like juice. Now here I drink coffee, water, tea, and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> uh, so Too Faced came out with some new products that look boring as hell. The Teddy Bear collection, which again, the way that they try to like be at the crossroads of like early teenage girl aesthetic and then also like super sexy it's it's just it's creepy it's let's put it this way that's creepy so teddy bear it's not even a good looking palette it looks what are those shades i don't like the layout either what the hell um so yeah so there's a face powder i guess there's an eyeshadow palette and then there's a gloss I'm not interested at all Oh boy, Chanel is coming out with an illuminating blush powder. So I guess it's either a glowy blush or a blush topper. And oh boy, is $70. <laughs> mm, no, 
no thank you. Have I ever tried a Chanel anything other than like Chanel number no. 5? I don't think so. Okay, and I think that catches us up with trend mood. If there's anything that you think I missed or you want my opinions on, let me know down below and make sure you follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Here is my Instagram. If you tag me in anything, it really helps me put together these videos too. And I really love interacting with you guys and I'm trying to be more active. I have some new highlights up on my um, actual profile. I've been posting my stories just about daily too. Uh, with makeup of the day, I actually have some sneak peeks from my Pan That palette. I always post those to my Instagram stories first before you get the update here on YouTube. So if you're interested, make sure you follow me there. All right, and I think that's it for the Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me know what you thought of these products down below, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.